everyone. Hope you guys are doing great. I miss you all so much. So I started my internships. My favorite is... I even have my own email with Ford. I like that. The people who work there are always busy. They say the F word in every sentence almost. And one of the ladies that is in the classic division tries to give me something to do and half the time I can't even understand what she is saying. She speaks three different languages and is from Hungary. Go figure. There is also another lady that sits across from me. She has a real New Yorker accent. I think that accent is so gross. Well, compared to... I like southern accents better. They all asked me if I was from the south because of the way that I talk. I really hope I do not come back and sound like them. Nobody will marry me then. LOL. Sometimes I get really bored though and I am always offering to do things and the lady that I work for is like, oh you can just sit there and relax until I need you to do something. I offered to help out in other divisions but I think she just wants me all to herself. But I enjoy it and it is a neat experience. Yeah, by the way, there are tons of gay guys that talk like women in there. It is kind of annoying. I am thinking in my head, how the heck can a guy actually talk with that high pitched of a voice? Even higher than mine. And let me tell you, you see a decent looking guy up here, and then you see his partner. So then I started at Vogue, sat there in the lobby for an hour waiting on them to come and get me. I met four other interns while waiting. We were all so nervous. I guess I am very lucky to have gotten this internship because all the other girls had hookups. Their moms knew the editor or their friends knew a friend who worked there. They were surprised that I got it without knowing anybody. I guess I sold myself pretty well. So I go into the accessories office and one of the interns shows me around. I was completely overwhelmed. There were millions of girls in there with their designer clothes and high heels. I wore high heels on the first day, but never again, ever. Too many blisters. So then she shows me the computer and how to do returns, etc. They were doing a fitting for one of the models and it was so crowded in the closet. We have to return shoes, handbags, and accessories back to the vendors. So we have to do a lot of computer work and then package them up and send them. We have to call people in Paris and Milan to do returns back to them. The first day I had to call somebody from Paris and they barely gave me instructions on how to call. So I called and kept having to ask other interns what to say while the lady from Paris was on the phone. Talk about stressful. But I got through it. Now they are very easy for me. Just one day of hell and I was okay. I told myself I was not going to go through that again. But I got strong and now I am going to stick with it. It is getting easier, but it is a rough day. I have to work 11 hours and I am constantly on my feet. If I sit down, it is for one minute and I hardly ever sit. I have only a 30 minute lunch break, so I pretty much do not look forward to Tuesdays and Thursdays. I did click with two of the girls. They are the normal girls to me. One is from Alabama and the other is from Louisiana. You can tell that they grew up like me. They are respectful and not hateful. Then there are the other interns. Some are stuck up, some are lazy. Some like to let others do their work for them, and some think that the world exists around them. I am sorry, but they are an intern just like me. They need to get that straight. So I ignore them, and I do my own thing. I am only here to have this on my resume, not to make friends with the B word. <laughs> I work under Megan and Lindsay. Lindsay is a fashion assistant, and I found out she is from Fayetteville, Arkansas. That is 40 minutes from... We have a little in common. She is pretty nice. She always tells me thank you for anything that I do. I will have to take pictures of the closet. There is probably over a million dollars in that thing. Tons of designer shoes. The other day I organized it and oh I how I wish I could have all those shoes. Chanel, Manolo Blahnik, Christian Louis Vuitton, etc. Oh and the fashion assistants had to go to an event one night and they were able to pick clothes, handbags, accessories, and shoes to wear to it. Wow. So I do hate the magazine business and I am counting down the days until I am done. But I guess I will know now that it is the industry I do not want to go in. I don't know how some of these ladies work here so long. And I still hear all the cussing at Vogue too. Oh yeah, and they are demanding let me tell ya. Some of the women in here think that they are queens. I hate hateful people. I try to get to know people because I am a relationship person. But it seems that they probably think I am weird for asking about their life. Oh well. 
So I haven't met Anna Wintour yet, but I do hope I get to meet her. That is all I ask from this internship. And maybe I can get some freebies. And again, there are tons of gay guys working here too. It gets annoying. They are obsessed with clothes more than I am. So I have started to realize that there are more things to life than fashion, money, and glamour. I look back and think that it is not a bad place to live. It is clean, friendly, relaxing, and stress-free. I am definitely not living here past August. You should see some of the scummy people here. There is tons of diversity. I feel like a minority. I will go to McDonald's to get coffee and feel like I am in Mexico. I will go to Canal Street and then I feel like I am in China. And last but not least, I will go to Little Italy and I am in Italy. My gosh, help me. And then I get sick of the foreign guys who stare at me on the streets and start speaking some language I cannot understand. But they are saying it in a flirty way and looking at me smiling. Ew, just leave me alone. And another thing I hate, the subway. It stinks, it is dirty, I am still the only white person on it. I get stared at like I am a celebrity. I get talked about, I feel like I am going to get a disease from someone on it, and I almost fall down every time it takes off, even hanging on to the handlebar. I always have my Germex to kill those nasty germs. <laughs> you would think that New York City would be a classy place to live, but no, it isn't. There are people everywhere who are homeless, crazy, have something wrong with them, have skin diseases, pink eye, rashes, etc. I think someone on the bus had pink eye and I freaked out and kept disinfecting my hands today. You know how weird I am about smells. I smell poop here. I smell skunk here and gasoline and sewer and trash and more. They lay all the trash on the side of the streets for the smell to get in my hair and then I smell like trash all day. <laughs> Could it be any worse than this? I mean, at least I tried. I would have always wondered what New York, New York City would have been like if I did not try. I am tempted to tell my internship sponsors that I am moving back ASAP once I complete my 200 hours to graduate. I already have a quarter done. I worked 50 hours last week. I am not used to that at all, just used to working four or five hours a day. It is a big change. I know one of the girls from hates it up here, and she is going to complete her 200 hours and say that she has a family emergency and move back. She had to work 24 hours straight the other day. Don't ask me how, but she did. So at this point in my life, I have no idea what I want to do. I thought the fashion industry in New York City would be great, but it is not what I expected. It is good to get out in the world and actually discover who I am though. I know that I am not a fast-paced lunatic. I do not like to say the F word in every sentence, and I do not like to go somewhere where I feel like a stampede is going to run me over. I also do not like feeling like I am in every other country besides America. I do not like stuffing myself into a crowded subway, smelling nasty trash all day, and being around rude people in general. And yeah, as much as people say, oh, New Yorkers are not mean, if you come from, yeah, they are mean. They care about themselves. They are so caught up in this world of glamour and money that they do not enjoy themselves and they, that makes them stressed out and rude and that is somebody who I do not want to be. I do not like feeling disgusting and blowing out black stuff out of my nose from the pollution and I do not like having to bathe all the time because I am so dirty and my skin is always breaking out from all the dirtiness. I think all the normal people must live way uptown because I haven't seen any normal people down here in the Wall Street. So I'm going to spend the rest of the summer trying to figure out what career I want. I'm going to start applying to places everywhere besides here. LOL. Maybe in LA, maybe in anywhere but here in New York City. I think I'm growing up though and realizing all the important things in life, which are my family, love, and being happy. I could make all the money in the world and work for Vogue magazine, but am I really going to be happy? No. I would be crazy, stressed out, mouthy, hateful, and rude. I love my degree, but there are other things that I can do with it. So I will pray about it and let life take me where it wants to take me. I do think I was sent here to learn who I am. I think it was a real shock to see how other people live and to see how they grew up and to plainly see that I should be thankful for what I have been given growing up. I think that happiness is all that matters, whether or not you have all the expensive things in life. Money doesn't buy happiness to me anymore. One more thing, some of the places I have visited so far are Rockefeller Center, Central Park, Little Italy, Chinatown, Soho District, and we are trying 
And we are going to Sex in the City tour soon, and maybe to the beach tomorrow if I can get it. I would like to sleep in tomorrow if I can. Anyways, I miss you all tons, and I'm sorry this is so long, but I wanted to get it out. You'll probably enjoy it. I hope so. Maybe I should become a writer. <laughs> Love you guys. Email or call anytime. Brit. P.S. Is not bad at all. I love being laid back and being able to be friendly with people and people actually being friendly back. I told my mom that I am adopting a Chinese baby, like little Jada, when I get back and have a job. Really. That is what I am planning on doing even if I have to get a loan. The other day, a lady had tons of bags on the subway, so I offered her my seat to be kind. She looked at me like I was weird and didn't even say thank you. It's like I'm a weirdo for doing an act of kindness. Never will I do that again up here. People are crazy. But I bet you would become crazy after living here. I think I will be insane after it is all over. 